Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at Windows Fast Startup, a uh, relic from the Windows 8 days, and uh, is kind of based around hibernation and all that sort of stuff. It was essentially designed to speed up boot times for hybrid systems or systems with hard disk drives where they were a little bit slow and it would allow Windows to start up a little bit quicker by basically saving the kernel, which is part of Windows, first of all, transferring it into RAM, then transferring the RAM to your hard drive, when you turn on your computer after shutting down, it will then reload that file or hyperfile.sys, I believe it was called, and then it would kind of resume where you were last. When you do a system restart, that doesn't happen. So restarting your system is effectively a clean reboot, whereas shutting down and restarting actually isn't and leaves other things in the memory. So if you're having problems, maybe with some configuration, installing a driver, Windows updates especially, that can be... Uh, very problematic, which is why Windows generally, when it says about doing updates, it says restart now, rather than shut down now. So yeah, something to bear in mind. Anyway, let's show you how to do it. So this is on Windows 11. Principles are pretty much the same on Windows 10, but obviously it's going to look a little bit different. So click on the start button in this top section. You want to type in control panel or start typing it and then choose control panel app. Either one of those is absolutely fine. So this is going to bring up the slightly older fashioned control panel rather than the new settings tab. And what you want to go into is hardware and sound. So we're going to click on that. And then we've got power options. Now you can go into that one if you want to, or you can just click straight away on change what the power buttons do. Not that that's relevant really, but it kind of is and it'll make sense as we go into it. So we're going to click on that. And here are the options we've got. So this is what your power buttons do on your PC, etc, etc. Um, but as you can see, most of this stuff here is grayed out, so there isn't actually a great deal we can do. So what you need to do is click on this one here, change settings that are currently unavailable. And there we go. So now we've got access to these bits here. So this is the one we want to get rid of. Um, personally, I would probably get rid of sleep as well, depending on your setup and how you want your system configured. Uh, sleep literally just puts your PC into kind of like a hibernation mode, uh, very much like hibernate. So you can choose to have hibernation. I personally don't like either of those. I'd rather my PC just come on and be on when I want it on and off when I want it off. Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. Probably you do. That's why you found this video. So anyway, let's uh, get rid of sleep. We don't want sleep anymore. And we'll get rid of turn on fast startup. It's actually recommended. And it says there, this helps your PC start faster after shutdown. Restart isn't affected. Hence what I said earlier. So restart is actually a clean boot. Whereas a shutdown and reboot actually reloads that hyperfile system so yeah we'll get rid of that so get rid of that and all we want to do is to click on save changes and that's it we're done now obviously you can make any changes you want to to your power plans etc and actually we do have some videos coming up on how to make your system run cooler quieter use less energy so stay subscribed for that uh, if you've not subscribed already please do and don't forget to hit that dinging button. Uh, but that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.